What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. What I'm going to be doing today is going to be a mole inspired slow cooker chicken recipe. This in no means is an authentic recipe, but what it does do is it takes all the all the flavor that I like in a mole and incorporates it in this recipe. Now this is one of those recipes that I'm going to get down on. I'm not going to really be measuring anything or doing anything like that, but I will try to have my amounts and ingredients in the description below. Now as far as the ingredients we're going to be using, I have about two pounds of uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I have some pineapple that's been uh, crushed. Some, I uh, love these things, these chipotle peppers. I like this brand, La Morena. If you find that at Walmart, get you some of that. We're going to be using a cinnamon stick a couple bay leaves, a touch of this uh, hot chili powder that you can find at Walmart as well. You can really get this cheap at a Hispanic market, but if you go to Walmart, don't go to the spice rack, go to the Hispanic aisle, get you some of this in the bag. We have that, oregano as well. This oregano is a lot better than you find in the regular spice rack. A little bit of brown sugar, some garlic cloves. We have some uh, kosher salt and this is a salt pepper blend but really doesn't have much pepper in it some red onion red onion yellow or red white or yellow be fine some cilantro and this is what brings it home for me we're going to be using some dark chocolate i'm using how you pronounce it giardelli chocolate however you pronounce it that's what we're using so to hook this recipe up all we're going to do is kind of make our sauce first, get our chicken into the slow cooker and let it go for about six hours on high. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to add our chipotle peppers. Our onions. And the reason I'm putting something with some kind of liquid at the bottom of this is to make the blending process a little bit easier. And I'm going to start off with about half of the can of this pineapple. And I'll adjust it as needed. Our brown sugar. Garlic. Our salt. And we'll be able to add more salt if we need it down the, ro down the road our cilantro and since the uh, this particular brand of uh, chipotle peppers is kind of hot I'm just going to add a little bit of this this uh, chili pepper powder now the difference between this chili powder and what you would find in like your spice section and this is this is just ground up chili peppers this has no added anything extra into it we're gonna add our cumin or excuse me our oregano and now that i said it i need to turn around and grab some cumin out of my cabinet because i forgot to get that out of here so let me grab that okay, got our cumin And I really like this. I'm not going to go too heavy on it, but this is a spice that in uh, Mexican recipes, I really like to go a little bit heavier than normal. And our bay leaves. Now, I'm going to throw my bay leaves in the sauce. They're going to get crushed up in the sauce. If you wouldn't, if you don't like that, just throw them in the uh, slow cooker and pull them out before you get ready to eat. So we're going to blend this up. Okay, so we have that all blended up. Now, as far as thickness, this is like a real thick, almost like a, it's not quite a paste, but it's not a liquid. That's what you want. Now that we have that blended up, I just need to get my slow cooker out and we'll finish this up. So I already have my slow cooker set on high. We're gonna add our chicken and our sauce. We have our cinnamon stick, here we go. Our chocolate, 
and I'm just going to break this up and throw it in. This is half of that bar, which is about one and a half ounces. And this, I think, is what makes it. If I need more, I'm going to taste it in about four hours, see if we need any more. If we need it, I'll add it then. And there was an ingredient that I forgot about earlier. We're using better than bouillon. Now, you could add like a chicken stock or something like that. This is going to be the chicken bouillon that's concentrated. I like using the concentrated because I'm not adding any liquid to it. So you could just throw one uh, bouillon cube in here or uh, a little over one teaspoon of this better than bouillon. I'm just going to give it a good stir. We're going to let this go for six hours. Should be delicious. So this is what we're looking like after six hours on high. Now all that we need to do to uh, shred this up is basically just run a, run a spoon through it. 